Hi everybody from a beautiful day in the Commonwealth. Today I'm looking at this magnificent structure. What do you think? <laughs> it's Spectacle Island Kingdom version 3. It's by Sailor234 and it's on Bethesda.net right now. It's brand new and uh, wow. This is something else. I love it. Totally appeals to the child in me. When I look at this, I see this. Obviously. Uh, and good Lord, I don't even know. It's the weirdest thing, you know, because I've been playing for the first time in my life. I've been playing Halo, Halo Reach on the Xbox and um, the two player campaign mode. It's been hilarious fun. I can't even tell you how many times I have shot or run over my companion so it's quite nice to get back to a solo, a solo game where I can only kill myself which obviously I do regularly but I just thought I'd share that with you in case you also played that let me know what you think anyway back to this wonderful mod let's get down and have a closer look at it all right so when you fast travel here this is where you land and you've got all these little homes very cool. Pop all your settlers down here. Here's the original warehouse area. I might swap out some of these for some sort of cleaner, more modern looking ones. Only because the castle itself looks so pristine and beautiful, you know? The homes look a tiny bit patty by comparison, but that's just me. By the way, there are absolutely loads of turret platforms. So, uh, yeah. What a gorgeous day. And by the way, if you're wondering if this works with Greek Rage's new mod at uh, Warwick, yes, it does. Um, no problem there. So, that is cool. And this place was recommended to me by one of my viewers. And I'm so grateful to you guys for letting me know about these places. Check this out. <laughs> I know it's a it's kind of a direct rip-off in, in a way of Nuka World, but so what? I am grateful for it. I love this. I love it when you can just have something really different, unusual, sort of a brand new take on things that's not the same, you know, as the original. This is very nice little cafe. You could have a whole bunch of shops down here gift shop maybe or just oh hey what have you got it's got a stick or a gun or something oh this is so cool <laughs> and it it's big guys it goes up and up and up uh, wow how nice especially on this gorgeous day I'm thrilled with it I really am <laughs> Oh my god. So yeah, although the turrets and towers and whatnot, you can't get into them, you know, they're just fripperies, a bit of fun. They just add to the overall ambience of the place though. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, this bridge. I love this. This quirky little room here. I, honestly, I don't even know. I certainly don't have the time to do anything with this myself at the moment, but I can imagine it being an awesome transfer settlement blueprint for other people to play with and have just, you know, go wild with this. Also, there's like, um, actually, let's get up there and do this the easy way because there's also at the very top in the top rooms there's a random chemistry station and a cooking stove <laughs> don't quite know why what don't quite know why they're here i guess just to give you a, a helping hand save building it yourself you can just move it elsewhere oh i am <laughs> enchanted with it i think that's what it is Whoa, you, you, honestly, this is a, a 
month long project, isn't it? Imagine decorating this. Wow, it's going to take some time and commitment. All right, I'm going to leave you with that fantastical view and call that the end of this week video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Do let me know what you think about it. I'd be fascinated to know. Um, for me, it's just one of those random things that's popped up and really, you know, grabbed my attention. It's so cool. All right, I'll leave you with that and say I'll see you soon for the next. Take care and stay safe, everybody.